Hey, beautiful friends. I hope everybody is doing good. Um, I thought I'd get on here and do a video. I'm just like naturally beauty today because I got another doctor's appointment. I got to go to my um original doctor to get like a follow-up of how I'm doing and stuff like that. So since my car accident but um i wanted to get on here because i'm gonna show you um i'm gonna do i'm gonna read one of my poems um i've got two books here um this one i use to write down my poems which i am starting on one it's uh the name of it's called Dear Bestie. It's about my best friend that passed away last year. Um, I just got to thinking, like, I've been doing, like, a lot of, like, binge watching on, um, some other videos. Like, the other day, like, if you guys know, like, a lot of, like, a lot of my old subscribers know that I'm a big fan of Tupac. And, um, he's just such a legend. And, um... I've been binge watching a lot of his like music or um you know interviews and stuff like that and um he was just like so intelligent like and he just like inspired me to get back into you know writing again cuz he was such a good poet um I did order a book, and I didn't even realize he even had a book about his poetry until um, I was on TikTok. I can't think of what her name is, but she follows me, and, you know, we communicate and stuff. And she's got a YouTube video. I'll have to see. I can't think of what her name is at the moment because my head is just, like, all over the place but she's like yeah I like his poetry book and I'm like what I didn't even know he had a poetry book and um I was like oh I'm gonna go look it up on Amazon and I found it for like 12 bucks so I could not wait to get that book and read it um so yeah I was like so excited but yeah, that's what I do. I like to train. I like to write it in here because I do like a lot of scribbling. Or like, no, I'm still trying to finish the one for my best friend still. But I will do another video like this if you guys are interested in me doing another video like this because I do want to read you my poems. Like I, it's like back of here of this book. Like, see, these are ones that I got to transfer in here, but I wanted to show you, um, I like to put stickers. I got, like, music stickers. Um, I got this, like, like, stickers right here of these, uh, um, Disney princesses dressed up like rocker chicks. They're so cute. And she's got, like, uh, I think this is, oh, Alice in Wonderland. And she's got, like, a Nirvana shirt. Oh, I just think that was so cool. And then I just got this picture of uh, artwork that my mom did that I took a Polaroid picture of. And then um, I got this pocket right here of some, you know, just memorial things because I love music so much. Um, I have my kings of leon um concert ticket when i want to go see him in concert um if you guys know who tracy chapman is i've seen her in concert amazing concert and then i got this picture of my dad my dad was such a hippie back then <laughs> <laughs> but he had like the long hair he's like in his suit and he's by um the record player listening to music so yeah and then yeah that's pretty much of what I have in here um I'm put that back so I don't lose my cause I like to save that type of stuff the sticker fell off. So.
so okay put that there and then you know i just love to decorate my book like this is my other stickers just i just decorated it um and then you know i like to color my pages and stuff like that to make it rainbowy and then i also have a picture of my handsome man and dreadlocks he used to have dreadlocks and i miss him and i told him the other day i said babe i said i miss you having long dreadlocks in your hair because he oh he just so cute and he's wearing his nirvana shirt that i sent him because he's a big nirvana fan like he he's like me like we're so compatible like he just loves all kinds of music and um but yeah this is him he's got that like rocker vibe look and i love him in that jean jacket so yeah it's like one of my favorite pictures so basically i just you know Each page, I like to, you know, decorate it like I said. I got, like, this one. I like to decorate it with a sticker right there. Um, but, yeah. So, the poem I am going to read today is I did it in... I'll tell you the story about it. Um, it was in 1998. Um, I was in high school. <laughs> Um, like, I think my freshman year, um, freshman or sophomore year, I, I don't think it was, like, my freshman, no, it wasn't my freshman year, I think it was, like, my sophomore year, um, I got acquainted with, like, a friend that I went to high school, which we don't talk anymore, because we kind of got into a conflict, like, after high, like, like, a few years ago, like, she was, like, telling me that I can do better on finding a guy here. And I'm, like, it does not matter where you find love. And we kind of got, like, into it. And I said, you know what? I don't need people like that in my life. Like, you're not going to tell me who I can date and all that and stuff like that. Long story short, like, back in high school, we used to be really, 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 really good friends. Um, I would go to her house, like, a lot on the weekends and stay the night. Um, I don't think she really came over to my house really much on the weekends. Everybody always liked me going over to their house because it, it was just more funner, you know, I guess. I mean, I had certain friends that would come over to my house, like my best friend Christy, because we didn't go to high school together because I moved. Um, but she would come, like, on the weekends, you know. But, yeah, so this girl that I went to, you know, high school with, and we were friends, and we'd go, she's like, you know what? She goes, Andrew, you need a boyfriend. Um, she goes, I'm gonna set you up with somebody that I know that I went to school with, and I got his number and all that, and I'm like, okay, you know? And she's like, so she set me up with this guy named, this guy, um, I don't know, how, uh, I'll say it. his name was Dan, because there's a lot of Dans in this world, but yeah, his name was Dan, and, um, um, you know, she set me up with him, and she called, and she's like, I got somebody to meet, and stuff like that, <laughs> this is the funny part, so we went on a date, we met, I was nervous as heck, because I am, like, shy, and I'm still to this day shy and nervous when I meet a guy for the first time. And she um was like she was like setting it up and he was like, Okay, you know, and he agreed to, you know, go on a date with me and all that and he was such a gentleman. But me and him were, like, two opposites. Like, I kid you not, you guys. Because, see, um, all my life, I've dated outside my race. That's all I've ever dated was outside my race. Um, but I was actually dating this guy that was my race, you know. And um, I don't really date a lot of white guys because the reason for that is a lot of them... 
don't like big girls, you know, at that time. And, um, that's why I went for the guys outside my race because they like the big girls, you know, <laughs> if you know what I mean. But, yeah, so I dated, I dated, uh, him, you know, and, um, he was like, we met, you know, and stuff like that, and he acted like he liked me and stuff like that. Um, this guy that I'm talking about, he was my first love, you guys. Yeah, he was my first love. Um, he'll always be my first love. Um, and, uh, but it was so funny because... We went on a date, and then all of a sudden, I wasn't getting no phone calls after, you know, the date. I'm thinking, okay, well, maybe he didn't like me, and he ended up, I called him, I said, so what's going on? I said, how come you haven't called me? He goes, um, he goes I'm going to be real with you, and I'm glad he was real with me. I'm glad, he, you know, he was straight up forward with me. He goes, he goes, it's not going to work. We don't have nothing in common. And all of us, and I'm like, fine, bye, you know, I don't care, I'll find somebody else. And, um, he's like, yeah, it's just not gonna work. I said, okay, you just lost the best thing you ever had. He goes, uh, I doubt that. And I said, oh, um, yeah, you did, you lost the best thing that you ever had. And then I said, I didn't want you anyway. <laughs> And, uh, I kid you not, you guys, after I said that, a week goes by. He ends up calling me. I tell you, guys are clingy to me. Like, they can break up with me one minute, wait a few days, and then they think that they can get back into my, um, life. No, it don't work that way. It does not work that way. And, um, I kid you not. So, Dan, he ended up calling me one week and, um, telling me, he's like, hey, how you doing? And all that. And I said, wait a minute. I thought you said you weren't interested in me. I thought you said we didn't have nothing in common. He says, well, I got to thinking long and hard and stuff like that, and I want to give you another chance. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, are you kidding me? I said, you know what, you're lucky that I'm nice, and you're lucky that I'm going to give you another chance. So I ended up giving him another chance, and we ended up, I ended up falling so hard for him. Like, we were so in love. Like, literally, so in love. Um, he would, like, because he lived in, like, you know, he went to another school. I went, you know, like, I would always tell my best friend, Christy, to keep an eye on him to make sure he wasn't cheating on me, which he has cheated on me a few times. And I kept giving him chances. It was awful. But anyway, throughout our relationship, you know, we had, like, ups, downs, ups, downs, ups, downs. And, um, I don't know. I just, you know, we were arguing a lot. He was, like, cheating on me. And I kept giving him chances, thinking we could work it out. And, you know, it just wasn't working. And one day, this is, like, the name of the song, or the name of the poem, which poems can be like turned into songs too. So, so one day, I don't know, I have to have like a good head on my shoulder and I just, all of a sudden things just cut. I was just like in a mood that day and, um, I was just had all these feelings and emotions and I just was just like, writing I was like just in the writing mood so this poem is called breaking up and it is deep you guys it's really deep it says okay so it's called breaking up I should have brought my glasses I don't know what I was thinking but it's called breaking up it says I don't know how to tell you this 
but I think our days are through. I'm really sorry, but I guess I just fell out of love with you. Please don't be mad at me, but there's nothing left anymore. There's nothing left anymore. The feelings that we used to have just went out the door. Oh, it's so deep. I am sorry for doing this. I wish I could change how I feel. I thought I wanted, I thought I wanted, wait, I'm trying to, because I highlighted and stuff in my book, and with my glasses, you know, when it's was dim in here, it says, I, I really thought, okay, now I can, okay, because it's so dark, I probably should have turned the light on, but okay, now let's get back into it, it says, I thought I wanted, wanted to last always, I thought, I thought we would last always. Um, I thought our love was real. This is so hard for me to do. I never wanted us to end, but I do still love you. Um, because I did. I mean, I had love for him, but I just wasn't in love with him anymore. And it said, just not that way. I still want to be your friend. But yeah, I just put, I just, I still want to be your friend. I just don't want you to hate me. It says, please try to understand. I've been feeling like this for a while now. I've put it off as long as I can. I wish there was something. I wish there was something for you I could do or say, but really, you would be happy. You would be happier without me. It's just better that way. And that was it. Yeah, that's just how, I mean, it was deep. Like, it was literally deep. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, If you guys are interested in me doing more of these, I would be glad to do it because I like to share this. I've been wanting to do this video for a while now and I just haven't um gotten into doing it but you know I'm glad that I shared that but yeah that it, it's still after reading that it is still deep because you know we were together like for so long and I just I couldn't take it anymore and I had to express my feelings but yeah I hope everybody is doing good um I appreciate you watching i appreciate you taking the time to comment um i'm still i'm still catching up on comments and stuff um but yeah i hope everybody's doing good and i'm gonna get off here and remember be kind be safe and take care much love